Hello and welcome to another one of my Asana training videos. Today I want to give you some tips on how you can use milestones and set up milestones in Asana. This is a question I've been asked uh, quite a lot by my consulting clients uh, as people want to know, you know, for a project, how can you differentiate the tasks, the work that needs to be done from milestones, you know, the big sort of phases of a project. If you have any questions at the end of this video, please leave me any comments below, or if you need more one-on-one -on -one support with Asana set up and training your team, then you can use the link in the description to book a free introductory call with me, and I can learn more about your requirements, and I can tell you about my consulting service. Now, into this video. So here we are, we have uh, just an example project that I'm working in here. This is a product launch project. You can see it's been planned into various phases. We've got planning, design, promotion, and launch. And so there's a number of sort of what I would refer to as like regular tasks here, you know, planning on the product name, what features we need, that type of thing. And then here, <clears throat> here is a milestone where I've said, you know, this is like final specifications are due. This is a big milestone that sort of concludes this phase. First thing I've done is I've put it at the bottom of my section because it's kind of the last thing that needs to happen to close out that planning phase. So just in terms of the hierarchy, I've just put it down at the bottom because it's the final thing that happens. And then visually here, you can see I've used a tag and you can see all these tags, they really stand out. And this is one of the key ways that we can highlight milestones in Asana is using a tag. And you can see actually, I've uh, uh, tried to be a bit fun with mine. I've put a little trophy emoji in there. Um, so when you are actually writing the name of your tags, you can insert emojis to just kind of make them look a bit nicer as well. And so you can see as well with my milestone here, I've even created some dependencies. So you can see this milestone, this specification is due, uh, it's dependent on the features being decided and the product name tasks as well. So both of these things need to happen before the milestone is effectively complete. So to create a dependency, you can either do that up here, you can use the markers dependent on option, this is a premium feature, or you can do that from the timeline. So let's actually flick on over to the timeline, and I think this is a really great way to see milestones. So you see I've um, planned out my project here, and you can see these dependencies uh, linking to each milestone. And another way you can create dependencies is by clicking and dragging this little dot here. So if I drag this dot onto my task, I, that's how I can create this dependency. And you can see on the timeline here, this is where the tags really are, are really useful because the blue really highlights them. We can see these milestones happening at key moments throughout the project. And what I've done as well is, as you can see with the timeline, we can click and drag and we can kind of sort our uh, tasks however we like. So for these particular milestones, I've decided to put them all on one line. So even as the project kind of progresses through this diagonal flow, you know, tasks moving from one to the next, I've kind of got all my milestones along the top there, just so that again, I want to pull the milestones um, out of the main project, just sort of make them a little bit more separate. Uh, and yeah, I think the blue, uh, the tag um, really, really gets highlighted in the timeline view. So there you are. Those are a few little quick tips on how you can set up milestones in Asana. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and thanks very much for watching.